Hey guys, um, I'm sitting in my room, uh, so sorry for the background. Um, what is the title of this one? Sin is in, God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the Bible are out. Because we're being censored, guys. The enemy's telling us, trying to shut our voice off. Trying to silence the church. Did a pretty good job so far, guys. That's how we got in the shape we're in in this country, honestly. And now we want to have an uproar. Started out a couple months ago. I mean, how social media is narrowing in and in and in on us. And they're, you know, claiming it's you know, freedom and expression and try to throw a little bit of the religious freedom in there. There isn't even much religious freedom, guys. It's, it's being stripped away at a fast pace. That's why I'm having this video. It's kind of alarming, guys. A month ago, the Lord showed me, told me to put this scripture out. Read Isaiah 27, 1. It's all twisted, guys. Everybody can say, other other groups can say whatever they want to say. And us as Christians, if I, there's stuff that if I started quoting it out of the Bible, out of the Bible, guys, I'd be taken off. Seriously, I was already taken off a while back, about a month ago, off of one. I said something on one of the social media platforms against one of the big retailers. I hit enter. It never even went out, guys. I got there's an algorithm in there, probably because they got money that I don't have, and there was some kind of algorithm in there that was just you can't say that. It didn't it didn't come out and say anything about anything. It said stupid stuff. It was a security risk. I quoted three scriptures out of the Bible, guys. That's all I said. I said maybe they should try reading these scriptures in the Bible. It's exactly what I said. I don't know how long this one will last either, honestly, because now it's changed. It just just recently changed. It started out one thing, and now it's now it's the rest of it. Now the real truth is starting to come out. More censorship. Cut you off. Don't quote the Bible. Criminalizing it almost, or it's probably the next step. Should we be surprised? No, read 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 7. 2 Timothy 4. We'll believe fables, stories, garbage, guys, garbage. I'm going to end with this. Okay, recently, one of the political candidates, an uproar over it. Some of the stuff he said. I'm not even going to say it because I don't want to get pulled off. It's very, very, it is offensive. It's offensive to me as a Christian. That I can't speak. But it's not going to stop me. Maybe a little more guarded, but it's not going to stop me. But everybody was all in an uproar. About the ta losing their tax status. And most of the preachers that were in an uproar... A few, very few. I'm not picking on, I'm not pointing out or highlighting any one person in particular. There was others. Franklin Graham was one of them that said, hey, now wait a minute. There was a bus that was running us over and everybody was ignoring the sin that was in the bus and barking about losing their tax status of the money because the money was getting taken. Oh, heaven forbid. Is God not your source, guys? Shouldn't you just live by faith, guys? Maybe we're supposed to pay taxes. Probably not. No, I, I get it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But why should that have been the big part of the issue? When there was sin involved in it, we should stand up against sin that's running rampant in this country. I guess that'll be considered a hate crime. 
soon, maybe. I don't know. It's time to really, really get down to the brass knuckles and pray and speak out. That's why I put that on there about time is holy, even in, pol in politics. It's time for us to start voting in godly men and women, and getting rid of all this other, all these other junk that the enemies let filter in. And we just sat by and played dead. I'm going to end with this. Okay, I was watching this video, and it was a some hyena had trapped this animal. I don't know. It was like a wasn't a gazelle, but it was like a smaller animal. It sort of looked like a gazelle. I don't know what kind of animal. Maybe an impala or something. But it was pretty small. It was laying there, and I thought, man, they're just going to show us some gory details of this hyena eating this thing. It looked dead. All of a sudden, a lion appeared. And the hyena thought the lion was going to try to steal its meal. So it, the fight was on. The hyena reared up. Started to get in the lion's face a little bit, and this animal just bolted. It wasn't dead, it just looked dead. That's what the church has been doing, guys. We've been playing dead, we've been rolling over, we've been letting the world run over us, and inclusion until it's become delusion. Delusional, inclusional, and delusional. Anything goes. Sorry, anything doesn't go. It is going to get back to holiness. It is going to get back to righteousness. It is going to get back to the Word of God. It is going to get back to the Bible being taught in these churches, supposed churches. Anything goes and slap a label of God on it. Hoodwinking him. We're not hoodwinking him anymore, guys. He's not a... Just not. It's just part of the storm, guys. It's coming. Sin is in. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the Bible are out. So many scriptures I could tell you. Like I said, you know, try to quote them. Carry your Bible, pick a public place, go to the airport, and try to preach the gospel with the Bible in hand and talk to people about Jesus. How long do you think you'll last? Go to a courthouse. How long do you think you'll last? Go to a school with a Bible in your hand. Saw this thing on there. This probably might not be real popular, but I don't, you know, honestly, it's not that I don't care. It's just that I'm a watchman and I'm going to say what needs to be said. This said, I guess people are starting to try to get Santa Claus out of the school system now. And the post said, now that they want to take Santa Claus, everybody's mad and upset. Where were you when they started taking the Bible and the Word and the prayer out of our schools? How upset were you? Were we then? We weren't. That's part of what I said. We were like that, dead, that animal that played dead. We just rolled over and we're going to get eaten alive. I'm sorry, guys. Jesus is still king. Prayer still works. The Holy Ghost is still, still real and seals the deal. And we need to be filled with the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit. Are, so, are we going to let sin in and fill up, the, fill up the place, the building? Are we going to kick it out? So, I'm going to kick it out. It has no place. So, there is a storm coming to America, guys. We're going to have to make a decision, guys. And look at it. It's not a... It might look like a destructive storm, and it is going to probably destroy some things, but it's not going to be a destructive storm is what the Lord told me. It's going to be for a purging, purification, a separation. It's time to separate, guys. The right from the wrong. Read Revelation 3.16. That's one. I will quote these scriptures. I was had a dream and the Lord said, 
Colossians 3.16 was just as important as John 3.16. I'm like, man, John 3.16 is a very important scripture. And they said later on, and within a couple weeks, he said, pick a book. Cause so, so, so pick some. I don't like the numbers thing because it reminded me of the astrological garbage. But Colossians 3.16 is how we treat people. Our brothers and sisters in the Lord, mostly, really. But Revelations 3.16... Read Matthew 3.16 about Jesus' baptism, Revelation 3.16, getting spit out. Genesis 3.16 is about life. Malachi is about, which is where we need to be right now. We don't know the king anything. They pretty much, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego told him, hey, king, we know who we serve. He's able to. We're not bowing down. And that's what we need to do. I'm just telling you guys right now. Me too. There's only one me. There's only only one I'm going to bow to, and that's Jesus. Because it says every knee will bow, every tongue's going to confess. I'm not conforming to the to these that's just another idol too all these laws and stuff I'm not saying we shouldn't obey the law that's not what I'm saying and run rampant and stuff like that I'm saying we need to start getting people in there that are pass, we're going to pass more godly laws we put so much emphasis on the supreme court there's only one supreme and his name is Jesus God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost and his word so we're going to let it let all, let all that are we going to just Slowly, it's not even slowly anymore, guys. It's being bulldozed out at a fast, rampant page, almost as fast as the explosion of the cell phones. All of a sudden, one day, everybody had one. Now everything's anything goes, and you got to include everything. And if you don't, you're 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 judging, you're hating. They're even trying to criminalize it, guys. You can go to California and order pot. And in one or two days, if you got prime, you can probably get it in one day. Delivered right to your door through not through through FedEx or whomever. Next day delivery, one or two days, any kind you want. And when I was a kid, you went to prison for that. So, yeah, I, I you know, have I don't care how many of you agree or don't or disagree with me. The reality of it is, is that any good stuff? Is it? No, all kinds of. There it is, Isaiah 27 1. So, are we as Christians, Christ like, full of Jesus, God, the Holy Ghost, and His Word? Are we going to sit back and say, it's okay when it's not? We're going to roll over and play dead when it's not. We're going to play possum when it's not. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not trying to be. I'm in the midst of a storm. Some of it I caused. Some of it was some sin that I didn't realize I, that I was plagued with so much. I'm cleaning stuff up. I'm not the finger pointing guy, guys. I will end with this. He wants to come into those deep, dark places in our hearts where we won't even go. That's what he's trying to clean up. That's what this storm's going to be about. He told me that my, me and my wife were going to go through it first. But it's coming next next year. A big, a big storm, guys. And some of y'all are already in them. Because some of y'all are going to be forerunners. The censorship stuff is, is storms coming. Preludes to the storm. Going to get worse and worse if we, don't, if we don't speak up. If we don't say something. If we don't preach the truth. If we don't tell people to open their Bible. If we don't tell people to be transformed by the renewing of their mind. Like I said. Places all over. America is supposed to be a free country. Free land. Free speech. And you can't quote the Bible and so many places can't even carry it the Bible guys
but you can sell pornography all over the internet. I get, I'm, I'm on one of the social medias and I've had to not really friend people. They'll send me pictures and it's my nude photos on such and such. It's like, how did these people even, dang, get all, dang, sorry, get, get on there. But anyhow, so it's just like, man, guys, Isaiah 60 and 60:22. but it's time to rise and shine, guys. Where is voice? Where's voice for the born and the unborn? And I'll say that. Born because they're already here. The unborn because they're being systematically taken out. Yeah, read between the lines of that one too if you want. I love you guys. Um, talk to you soon. Uh, I'm sure I'll get a few comments. I don't know how long this video will even last out there it may not that's okay you know it's not okay but anyhow i love you guys um jesus is real so let's let's act like it love you guys